Hey there, guys. So, um, a question I get asked on a semi-regular basis is, do I ever go back to some of the tech blogs that I recorded when I was first starting out and, you know, reevaluate and reassess some of the ideas in them? And the answer is rarely, but it does happen, mainly because uh, it is so abominably painful to go back and look at those old tech blogs. Um, but I recently had cause to re-examine at least one of those old tech blogs, in fact, the first two. Um, some of you guys, if you want to dig that far back, and uh, <laughs> uh, if you do decide to dig that far back, uh, enjoy, because God only knows I don't enjoy looking at those old videos. But um, in those first two videos, I was dealing a lot with uh, 1.5s that, at the time, I kind of thought of this as being... 1.5s working in opposites, as opposed to 1.5s working in same direction. This, of course, being the 1.5 beat weave, right? Um, at the time, I was kind of conjecturing that the difference between the two was something akin to the difference between a linear isolation and a linear extension or some such. I, I don't really remember, to be honest with you, mainly because I was so badly off base with it. But um, I recently had cause to look at this again because in Tahoe, uh, Ronan was teaching a great class on pendulums that actually cleared up the relationship between those two in a far more eloquent way than I could have ever imagined, which is um, if you just pair together a pendulum with a static spin, um, say, let's start off with the spacing that we're used to with both of those, you'll find that there's one region where it seems like the heads are moving together and one region where it seems like they're splitting away from each other, like they're separating out, right? The interesting thing about this is it's a byproduct of the fact that the pendulum is moving essentially both in the same direction as the static spin poi and in the opposite direction as the static spin poi. The pendulum, of course, goes back and forth across the bottom half so there's one region where it's in the same direction, one region where it's in opposite directions, right? Um, so in the grand scheme of things, when you're looking at the difference between a 1.5 beat weave and doing 1.5s and what I would have considered opposites at the time, is really just that you're using a different piece of how the pendulums and the static spins are phased together, right? Uh, you can really see the difference uh, illustrated if you put your hands together when performing this. Because you'll note there's that one point at which they do appear to be moving split time same direction right there. And then there's the point where they seem to be moving split opposites right there. Which I think is something that uh, Charlie actually examined in one of his... Um, in, in one of his QFT videos or uh, 9 square theory videos. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Um, now, the really interesting thing about taking this class from Ronan was he actually uh, contrasted it with another way of uh, putting together a static spin and a pendulum. Namely, what he um, thought of as being a same-time pendulum. The other one being, of course, a split-time pendulum. Now, this time you'll note that the poi are both going down across the bottom of the circle at the same time, whether it be same direction or opposite direction. So there's a region that feels like same time, same direction. There's a region that feels like same time opposites, right? So if you separate out your hands, like you did for the other one, you find that one of those uh, qualities that we look for in that first set of uh, pendulum versus static spin, that is that moment when the poi head meets, whether they're shearing away from each other or going in the same direction, has now disappeared. And it balances in a much, much, much different fashion. So, all of the fun 1.5s that you may have learned over the years, it may be fun to go back and take a look at them and see if uh, you can find the, both the, uh, the split time phasing and the same time phasing for all of them, yeah? So, uh, Ronan, thanks so much, and uh, thanks so much to those of you who've written in uh, asking about those early tech blogs because it was a good excuse to do this one. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.